we learned about uh, kinetic energy formula which is half mv square and potential energy formula which is mgh now we are going to derive those formulas and let you know that how they, those formulas have come the first one derivation of kinetic energy let us take a body of mass m it is at point a its initial velocity is u and it has traveled to point b its final velocity is v let the distance travel is s with acceleration a if you apply kinematic equations here the kinematic equation you can use v square minus u square equals to 2a yes so this, this equation we know already we learned now you multiply both sides by m divided by 2 so m by 2 which is half the mass v square minus u square equals to m by 2 into 2a yes so, so that the value does not change. Now, if you take m by 2 inside, you will get mv square by 2 minus mu square by 2 equals to 2 to cancel, you get ma into s. ma is the force f into s. So, f into s is nothing but work done. Now, it's coming to here mv square by 2, which is called ke2, kinetic energy final minus k e 1 kinetic energy initial so this form if you see it is called work energy theorem work energy theorem it says the amount of work done is change in kinetic energy amount of work done is change in kinetic energy okay our uh, concept is to, we need to derive the kinetic energy formula in this, let us assume that the body starts from rest. When the body starts from rest, initial velocity u equal to 0 implies half m u square equal to 0 implies if you see this expression here, then what happened k e 2 which is equals to w. So, in general, in general, we write k e 2 as ke which is half m v square so this is how we got the formula kinetic energy formula now you can see here we are trying to solve two problems based on kinetic energy formula see the first one there is a body of mass 15 kg move with velocity 4 meters per second so what is its kinetic energy so it is very simple kinetic energy ke equals to half m v square so, half into mass is 15, v square is 4 into 4. So, 2 twos 4. So, how much this is? 15 twos 30. So, 30 into 4, which is 120 joules, is the answer. I come to the second one. There is a car, it increases speed from 30 kmph to 60 kmph. Now, you need to calculate what is the amount of work done. So, work done for we know force into displacement, but displacement is not given, force is not given. But still, how do you find work done? Yes, just earlier I have told you that amount of work done is the change in kinetic energy, Ke2 minus Ke1, final minus initial. So, mass, you know, velocity, you know, you can find kinetic energy. So, to find kinetic energy, what we do, initial, first of all, we convert kmph into meters per second. I told you, we need to convert into SI units. So, uh, you take initial velocity u, which is 30 kmph. If you want to convert into meters per second, 30 into 5 by 18. And its value is 8.3 meters per second. Now, final velocity v, 60 kmph. So, 60 into 5 by 18 and its value is... 16.67 meters per second if you calculate it you will get it okay now initial kinetic energy half m u square so half into mass is 1500 into u square 8.3 square so if you simplify this you will get i will write here 520 42 joules now Final velocity, kinetic energy, half m 
v square which is 1 by 2 into 1500 into final velocity square which is 16.67 whole square and this value you will get 208417 joules now the amount of work done see this is equation 1 if you take equation 1 implies the amount of work done is ke2 minus ke1 ke2 208417 minus ke1 52042 now if you subtract it what the answer will get so you'll get 156375 joules is the right answer okay so you should remember whenever you are unable to solve uh, work done without giving force and acceleration then you can apply work energy theorem now we're going to derive the potential energy there's a body of mass m which is pulled up or you can say thrown up against the gravity to a height h so the gravity is acting downwards f g but we are applying the same amount of force upward same amount of force upward to make the body to move in the to move to the height h so as a gravitational force is nothing but weight of the body which is mg so this mg fg is nothing but equal to f because both forces are equal but in opposite in direction f equal to mg okay the amount of work done we know that w equal to f into s so the force f equal to mg into s s is the height which is h okay so this is nothing but potential energy of course you need to take negative sign because you're moving upward with uh, against the gravity thus you, need, you can mention negative sign here it is correct to mention negative sign but magnitude as potential energy is a scalar quantity we can take only magnitude which is m g h that's the formula for potential energy now let us solve some problems based on potential energy formula mgh see the first one there's a person of mass 60 kg he wants to climb up the steps each step height is 0 0.15 meter then what is the total energy required to go to the second step so let us solve so as moving upward is nothing but potential energy because going against the gravity so potential energy p e equals to m g h so mass is 60 kg g is 10 meters per second square it's a constant value height is 0 0.15 so if you see 2 0 to cancel 56 90 so 90 joules is the answer but it is only for one step but for two steps but two steps implies potential energy equal to 2 into 90 which is 180 joules so he is consuming 180 joules to come here here to here okay here one important thing I want to tell you suppose he is uh, going upward in the steps but in another case he, he went directly up till here directly up till here in both the cases in which case you have more potential energy this case a and this case b the answer is both cases you have the same potential energy because potential energy doesn't depends upon the path how you have traveled it depends upon the height only so in the both the cases the height is the height is 0 0.3 meters only 0 0.15 0 0.15 0 0.3 meters only in both the cases so it depends upon height only not on the path so in both the cases p is same the second one a body of mass at 12 kg is lifted up to a height h then it has potential energy 480 joules the question is what is the amount of height it is raised so you apply p e equals to m g h formula again 480 equals to mass is 12 g is 10 height h so height h equals to 480 divided by 120 0 0 cancel 12 fourths are 48 so height is 4 meters this is how you can apply the knowledge and you can solve the
problems in the potential energy. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.